Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks and at this trip we have, we have Matko Kupko in the tier 10 British heavy tank. It is the Super Conqueror, it's actually a vehicle that's going to get um, nerfed pretty soon. And it's actually QB as the commander over here on Paris in this tier 9 and 10 matchup. Um, so yeah, Wargaming did announce that this vehicle is going to get nerfed later this year um, alongside the Minotauro going to do some buffs as well to the Panzer 7 to the Fosh B which is rather surprising but let's let's just focus on the Super Conqueror why is this vehicle getting nerfed well that's because um yeah the actually ricochet of the CS I thought this one was going to go through um <laughs> never mind this vehicle is you know it's it has decent mobility it has awesome turret armor like if you just stay hold down it's going to be extremely difficult for the enemies to go through awesome DPM Decent pen as you can see going through the low plate of the 113 paging over actually fine goal at the start here uh, I think regular rounds are definitely going to do the job as well with 259 millimeters of penetration um, 326 Millimeters with the gold rounds, but this is exactly what you want to do with the super concrete, right? This is exactly why this vehicle is getting nerfed because you have the awesome DPM you can just do a lot of damage, you know, especially if you have um, a Bond gun rammer like Matt Kukubu has over here with uh, some bounty turbo and a survival improvement suite which is going to increase your hit points, it's going to increase the uh, internal module HP which this vehicle needs. By the way, you do get hammer act, you do get set on fire quite often with this vehicle. But there we go. The only tiny weak spot is actually the, um, the commander's hatch on the roof over here as you can see as you can see this is the only weak spot and only the middle of this area if they shoot the sides of this commander's hatch it's not going to go through it's not going to do any damage so in this position it's kind of like the enemy team almost has no chance of going through um at Kukuko's tank over here and yeah when you have good pen and the enemy team can't pen you back you have good dpm you can just do whatever you want so this is exactly why this vehicle is getting nerfed because it's just too good in too many areas, right? Um, the, according to Wargaming's video, it seems like this vehicle is going to get some. I'm missing the component of the 113, unfortunately. Um, it seems like it's going to get some nerfs to the armor. I don't believe that is the way to go. I think that instead of nerfing the armor of the Super Conqueror, just make the gun handling worse, um, reduce the DPM, and then I think this vehicle is going to be decent enough, right? But it seems like Wargaming want to actually nerf the turret armor on this vehicle. I don't know about that. It's kind of like the thing that holds this vehicle inside the game, right? That's the only reason to play this vehicle. Um, so yeah, if you remove the turret armor, then this vehicle is going to become pretty, pretty weak, I guess. I don't think it's going to be performing really well anymore. Is that what they want? I I don't know. Like, if the point is to just make this vehicle another one of those T10 heavies that nobody actually wants to play, then I guess that is the way to go. But um, yeah, I believe that if you just make the gun handling worse, um, if you just reduce the mobility, reduce the DPM, make those things worse on the Super Conqueror, I believe it's going to be pretty decent, right? <laughs> Ricocheting of the Pagetti, unfortunately. Um, like it's still, it'll still be a good vehicle, right? It can still do the hull down plays, but it's going to be less reliable than it is now. And I think that is going to be uh, the best way to go. Finishing off the 113 Beijing Opera over here. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, Matko Kupku, while I was uh, going on about how this vehicle is OP and the nerves and stuff, already up to four kills and 5,700 damage in this battle. <laughs> just showing you, you know, how reliable the vehicle is, how good the DPM is, the armor as well, bouncing 2,600 uh, damage so far in this game. And yeah, this is exactly why this vehicle is going to get nerfed in uh, the upcoming patches. But yeah, let's enjoy, let's enjoy this replay while it is still in its, um, in its glory form, right? While it is still good, Prochette of 65 going forwards on or trying to bait Matka Kupka over here. Um, so yeah, Matko Kupka is actually trying to get as much damage as possible right here, right? Going for the um, survival improvement suite, which like I said is going to add a HP to the vehicle. It's going to add 
internal module durability, which is definitely needed with this vehicle. It's going to add the suspension durability. It's going to add suspension repair time. So those are all really good things, you know, especially when it's a tier three piece of um, experimental equipment. Some crazy stuff. Bounty turbo, increase the mobility of this vehicle, which, I mean, it, it's okay. It's not great, it's not bad. If you put a turbo, definitely increases the overall effectiveness of the vehicle. We'll finish off the Prochetti over here. And a Bond gun rammer to just make the good DPM, great DPM, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Matt Cooper actually running out of APCR rounds already. I don't know if shooting those go rounds into the side of the Prochetti was the, the smartest decision, because I know there's an E4 over here, which is a rather heavily armored. Uh, tank destroyer, unless you can catch him in the Capona, which unfortunately didn't happen. But yeah, this game is is not looking good. Even though it seems like Magikoop's team is up by HP, right? Down by four vehicles, but up by 2,600 HP. One to the side, and actually getting a high roll against the E4 to finish them off over here. Yes, you do have 400 alpha damage, so getting 440 almost is definitely a nice high roll. Six kills, 7,700 damage so far. Just, you know, a really great game for any T10 vehicle. But it is not over. It is not over. T10 is going to learn how good the DPM is over here. Actually missing the first one, unfortunately. But the second one goes in. Can we finish off the CS? Just catch the turret and a boom. Eighth kill, Radley Walters. And, like, it just seems so simple, right? To play the Super Conqueror. It's, a, it's an 8 kill, 8,000 game. It, it's crazy stuff. It's like a crazy game. And it just it just felt really simple. It, it was a 2v6. Now it is a 1v4. It was almost a 1v5. Almost a call of Banovs. If, if a Mad Cooper can actually get a win. Um, but the Yang Panzer died after finished off the FV, so it's not going to be a column panel's mental test. The STB-1, catching the STB-1, and now it is only the M5355, the artillery, and the T-54 lightweight, but look at the amount of shells. My goodness, only three. HE rounds remaining. Watch out, you need to hit this, and unfortunately the T-54 lightweight just, just dodges. This is tricky. This is tricky. 11 kills, and 9,000 damage with only two shells remaining inside of the Super Conqueror. So, um, yeah, you don't really expect, right, to fire all of your shells in, in your Super Conqueror, I guess. <laughs> but when you do over 9,000 damage and you get 11 kills, it does make sense. So, HE rounds, haven't spoken about those, 120, it's actually Hesh rounds um, on the Super Conqueror, like most of those tier 10 British vehicles. They have 120 millimeters of penetration, which is awesome, and 515 penetration. So, M5355, definitely a one-shot, but it all depends on the lightweight, right? You need to pen the T-54 lightweight. And also, you need to find the artillery. M5355 is a very, very sneaky, cheeky artillery, very fast artillery. So, just need to find the artillery first, and then it is an easy one-shot. Unless, of course, we get um, an extremely low roll, right? 515, I believe the M53 has 450 um, HP. So, you will need an extreme low roll. To not finish them off with one shell. But yeah, like, the, you know, I don't know, 80% of the time it's going to be a one shot over here. There we go, and. 2 HP! 2 HP, apparently. Um, they, they need to ram. Need to ram the M50. There we go. Playing perfectly over here. Needed to save that last shell for the T54 Nightweight that was left on 190 HP, I believe. Uh, you, you still need to pen this, you still need to pen this one, like, if you don't pen, the chance of getting 190 damage these days is not very high, right, after the HE rework, which I personally call the HE nerf, kind of made HE uh, a, lot, a lot less useful. But the T-54 light, which is in the cap circle, luckily Paris, wait, what? Was in the cap circle, but yeah, Paris is a pretty small map, so, uh, Kupka, and then again in the cap, can you, can you decide, Mr. Lightweight? Please, the decisions. And leaving the camp again. Um, yes, Mr. T-54 Lightweight, please, please decide what it is that you want to do. But, yeah. Paris, small map. Magikoku could have easily 
gone back to defend the base if the need arises. Um, you know, especially with that bounty turbocharger. It's going to make this vehicle um, pretty mobile for a heavy tank. Pretty mobile for a heavy tank. But now, one shell, one enemy left. 12 kills, 9,500 damage. What is Mad Kukuku going to do here? Is the Lightwood going to go back to defend the base? These are always the uh, the craziest situations, right? When it's a 1v1 and you're inside the cap circle and you don't know where the enemy can come from. Like, the Lightwood can just go all the way towards the north and then get behind and get to the side of Mad Kukuku over here. Can go down south and get the side from the southern area. And they can just rush forwards and just shoot the front, right? Where is that lightweight? Are they going to go back to defend? Just waiting. Aiming at the, um... The middle. You know, to be able to react. If the lightweight goes north or south. There's the lightweight going towards the north here. Sitting inside the bush. Aim, aim, and hit the side and... It did not finish off the lightweight. Who is left on 44 hit points. 24 seconds left on the cap. No shells remaining. No shells remaining. What is Matko going to do over here? 15 seconds. Where is that Lightwood? Is it going to go forwards again from the same area? Are they trying to flank? The Lightwood doesn't know that we have no shells over here though. 5 seconds. Just survive. Just survive. Don't go forwards, Lightweight. 1 second and... Base captured. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Luckily the T-54 Lightweight didn't go forwards again. Yeah, I'm probably expecting to get hit, you know? 44 HP, he thought maybe Makakuku had a few shells remaining, but no. As you can see down below, no shells. No shells remaining. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I mean, when you shoot all of your all of your shots, you can get these awesome results. 12 kills and 9,600 damage. That we've seen. That we've seen, there might have been more. There were a few um, blind shots in this round of World of Tanks, but yeah, just, just an amazing game, amazing round by Matko Kupko over here with the, the Super Conqueror, right? Uh, I guess this kind of shows you why this vehicle is going to get nerfed later this year, because, you know, awesome DPM, great penetration with all rounds, um, awesome turret, can't really get penned unless you hit the center of the Capona, like I said. You can get overmatched by... 152, I believe, maybe 153 uh, millimeter caliber guns on this part of the roof. But, like, you, you don't really get penned in this turret anywhere else. It does have a very weak lower plate that when it gets hit, it does get ammo wrecked quite often. Uh, which is why I said you do need the improved uh, survival suite. But overall, it's just, it's just the perfect all-rounder. It can do anything you need it to do. And that is why the Super Conqueror is so popular. And that's why it's going to get a nerf. So, awesome game by Matko Kuko. GG over here. Let's go and check the post-game stats to see exactly how awesome this round was. There we go. Ace Tanker, of course, for the 1,818 and 1818. Lovely base XP. Um, Pulse Medal for getting 12 kills. 12 kills at it and is insane. Invader for getting... 100 cap points, as you can see, winning by capping the base. Um, a top gun, of course. High caliber for the 9,624. Unfortunately, no blind shot over here. You know, getting that blind shot would have gotten us to the magical 10k, which is always nice to see. Um, but not this time. Not this time, unfortunately. And a steel wall for bouncing 4,680 damage from the enemy's rounds. So just, just look at the amazing game. 9,000. It's like three times almost what second place did over um, on Matko Kupko's team. 12 kills. Just insane. 40 shells fired, which is all of the shells a Super Conqueror can actually get inside the vehicle. 34 hit, 29 penetrated. Lovely stuff over here. 9,624 damage, like we said. Um, 18 hits received and only five of those penetrated. Crazy, crazy armor. If you can just get this vehicle hold down, like I said, you will bounce a lot of shells as, as you see over here, right? 12 shells did not penetrate. And um, yeah, two were hits received as a result of splash, two by the M5355, 
one when you advance towards the M53, and the second one when you just caught him right, got a low roll with the hash round. That was a very unfortunate. Whew, four enemy vehicles spotted, 13 vehicles damaged, 12 destroyed, 458 damage calls with the player's assistance, and yeah, as you can see, the 100 cap points over here that are always, always delicious. So credits, um, unfortunately lost some credits, but it doesn't make sense. It did take quite a few of those gold rounds over here. I believe it was like 18, maybe 19 gold rounds. I would take that amount of gold. And you fight all of it, of course, then you will lose credits no matter <laughs> how good the game was. 9,000 damage, 12 kills. Um, so yeah. Also resupplying the consumables. Probably um a small, a small first aid kit to get the stun. And yeah, 22,000 credits lost because this is not a, with a premium account. Actually, maybe with a premium account, could have made a profit. Um, but with a premium account, you will lose credits at tier 10 very often. So yeah, this is it for this replay, for this video. What do you think of the Super Conqueror? Do you think it is actually overpowered? Do you think it deserves the nerfs? Maybe you think it's good as it is uh, right now? you think it should be left alone, maybe? Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, your opinions on the Super Conqueror. Once again, GG, Madka Kubka, awesome game. 12 kills at tier 10 is just insane. It's just absolutely insane. So GG, well played. Um, yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one, people!